math, the Wonder Wheel opened up seven years before the boardwalk was even built in 1920. So if you do the math, that's 95 years of rocking and rolling in Coney Island. Wow. And that's quite an achievement for a landmark amusement ride that's still operating. Olga from uh, Divine Savino's office, please come up and join us. Thank you. Uh, so 95 years of overlooking the beach, seven years after the Wonder Wheel opened, the boardwalk was built. So we're still here, the Wonder Wheel is still turning. My family's been in Coney Island since 1966. And we're proud to be part of the new Coney Island with Luna Park and Scream Zone and all the good boardwalk concessions that have opened up. It's just a, a totally different and totally nicer, much cooler Coney Island. And I'm sure you'll all agree with me that the best is yet to come. Like our former borough president used to say, Marty Marco, it's the best years are ahead of us. 2016, we're probably going to see that amphitheater open on the other end of Coney Island. In 2016, we're going to see Ocean Wonders open at the aquarium. So there's a lot of great things happening. And a lot of that is due to the people standing behind me. James Creston from the mayor's office is here. If you can join us, please, representing the mayor. Thank you. Say hi. Wave, James. Wave to Coney Island, James. Thank you. We have Johanna Zaki from the Alliance for Coney Island. Please, Johanna, join us. We have Councilman Mark Traeger standing behind me. Big round for Mark, please, everybody. Feel free to applaud. These guys are good people. Assemblyman Alec Brookrasny. Olga, of course, representing Diane Savino. Olga Fiore. And a happy birthday to you, yes. And representing, I think, the police department is Chief Powers. Is Chief Powers in the house? He's coming, but representing the 60th Precinct is Captain Faison, keeping us all safe during the summer. Big round. Thank you, Captain, for all that you do for us. So... Here we are, it's a beautiful day, thank God. It's dry, it's a little chilly, but it's okay. We're warm here in the heart, and we're gonna warm up this park today. We're gonna open up Coney Island. We're gonna make a lot of noise. So are you fired up? Yeah. Are you fired up? Yeah. Don't let this weather fool you. Spring and summer enter New York City through one place and one place only, and that is Coney Island. That's why I'm not I'm not fooled by the, by this weather here this morning. I want to tell you that as Dennis mentioned before, and we want to thank Dennis and the Verderas family for all their years of contributions and investments here in this in this area. And we want them to know that we we also have their back. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. People have said, Coney Island, we, we, our glory days, right? The past, the present. Well, I'm telling you right now, and, and, and continuing the tradition of the former borough president, we have not seen anything yet. Am I right? The best days are still ahead of us here in Coney Island. And I want to thank all of the people that make t today possible. Of course, the Verderas family, we thank Luna Park, we thank a wonderful police department, the community here together, the residents. This is really one of the most historic, greatest places, not just in New York City, but really in the entire country. So it's a blessing for all of us to be gathered here together to support what a wonderful, wonderful place. Truly, it will always be the people's playground. Thank you, and God bless all of you.